Hello, my name is Laura Coates and I'm a researcher and a rheumatologist at the University of Oxford. My particular research interest is in psoriatic arthritis and very much in clinical research working with patients. I look after a number of patients with psoriatic arthritis, which is a type of inflammatory arthritis which is associated with psoriasis. It's not a wear and tear arthritis or osteoarthritis, but is caused by underlying inflammation, similar to the inflammation that you can see in the skin, but affecting the musculoskeletal system rather than just the skin. It affects somewhere between 15 and 30% of people who have psoriasis and it can present at any age. We have children diagnosed and we have patients who've presented for the first time in their 80s. Typically, our patients have psoriasis before they develop the arthritis, although sometimes they present together or the opposite way around. We see patients with arthritis affecting any joints, small joints such as those in the fingers and the toes, large joints like the knees and the ankles. And in addition to the true arthritis, it can affect other aspects of the musculoskeletal system. Our patients typically get inflammation at entheses, which is where tendons attach onto bone. For example, pain in the heel from inflammation in the Achilles tendon. They can get inflammation in a whole finger or toe, affecting the tendon, the joints and the tissue so that that finger or toe swells up a bit like a sausage and we call that dactylitis. We also see patients who have inflammation in their spine, similar to a related condition called axial spondyloarthritis or ankylosing spondylitis. And obviously, as well as these musculoskeletal aspects of the disease, the majority of our patients have psoriasis and possibly nail disease as well. So the condition really affects people in many different ways and in many different patterns because all of our patients are individual and have different involvement in different parts of their joints, their skin and their tendons. My research is very much focused on the clinical side, thinking about working with patients, using outcome measures to measure disease and its impact in clinic, and trying to find the best way to treat patients using the drugs that we already have, and then potentially integrating new drugs when those become available. I'm particularly interested in listening to the patient voice in our research, and hopefully, allowing the patients to help guide us in what our research focus should be. Following on from the Psoriasis Association funded priority setting partnership in psoriasis, which completed in 2018, it's now my pleasure to be leading a psoriatic arthritis priority setting partnership using very much the same methodology but this time trying to discover what patients, carers and clinicians looking after them feel we should be researching in psoriatic arthritis to help us guide research in the future. We've run a survey this year, which was sent out to patients, carers and clinicians via a number of partners. So we've partnered with all of the main groups that represent the clinicians involved in care, the nurses, the physios, the podiatrists, and we've partnered with a number of patient support organisations, including Psoriasis Association and the Psoriasis and Psoriatic Arthritis Alliance. Through all of these links, we've managed to get over a thousand different questions submitted from patients, carers and clinicians. And we're now in the process of pooling all of these together to work out which questions people think are important. The next step for this is going to be a second survey running in the early part of 2021. And again, this will go out to patients, carers and clinicians. And this time we're going to ask people to rank the questions that we've received and decide which of these is the most important. 
Once we get the results from that survey, we'll be running a final meeting, bringing together a number of patients, clinicians, researchers and methodologists to work together to come up with a top 10 of questions that we should be researching in psoriatic arthritis. I hope in the future we'll help to support research in psoriatic arthritis. We'll ensure that we're doing research that matters both to the patients and the clinicians that look after them so that we're answering relevant and important questions. And I hope it will also help research funders who will be able to decide whether research should be funded based on whether it's one of these priorities and they can see the importance of the question both to the patients and the clinicians. We're following very much in the footsteps of the psoriasis PSP and working with a number of people with experience from that group, which has been brilliant. And we're hoping that by the end of next year, we will have developed our top 10 for psoriatic arthritis to help guide researchers alongside the top 10 research needs in psoriasis.